War Games is only a few days away and we have Banga after Banga. We have two War Games matches and two normal matches, so let's predict this shit. So in the men's War Games match, we have the Bloodline facing the Brawling Brutes, Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens. This match is probably gonna bang. I hear since that WWE doesn't have a lot of footage of the War Games matches, that they're gonna have a lot of cool spots. So, you know, I'm ready for all of that. But who is walking out the War Victorious? I mean, I, I think I personally think it's gonna be Team Sheamus. Uh, we are seeing a few cracks in the bloodline and i do think kevin and sammy are gonna play a, a huge huge role during this match now whatever happens happen but either sammy turns on the bloodline or kevin turns on sammy which is probably not gonna happen i feel like if they might get back together at war games but we'll see now there's a lot of storytelling like going into this match but the, the build-up was not too much i mean the, they announced the match like last friday which fair but then again we have the hottest faction versus three top level main adventures of this era and two up-and-coming stars I mean, this match would probably be a skeptical, but I sure as hell know that's this someone gonna be jumping off the cage. And there's gonna be tables and candles and trash cans and ooh, I can't wait. But it's gonna be insane. But final prediction, Team Sheamus. And we have Shotzi vs. Ronda. So now Shotzi, shot, uh, what? Shot, Shotzi won the six pack challenge and became the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Unfortunately, when the SmackDown Women's Championship is Ronda Rousey, you're not gonna make it. You, you're not gonna win. It. So it wouldn't really make sense if Shotzi actually won the title i do think ronda will retain her title at war games but Hillaby has been really kind of trying to build up shotzi from the ground up her presentation is all right she just needs to get over with the crowd and you know it'll be up uphill from then i don't know if she's ever going to become a world champion one day but she's kind of underrated i mean her entrance pretty good yeah i mean i just she, she just needs to get over with the crowd but i think ronda is going to win next up we have finn balor versus aj styles these two have long and deep, deep history these two these two are going to go at it once again Again, they've had a match a few years ago, but it was the demon version of Finn Balor. Now it's just a normal version. And there's two ways this match could go. It, it, could, it could either be a five-star match or a complete distraction fest. Now I hope it's a five-star match because we might never get this match ever again. And these two men are going to professionally wrestle their asses off. But it's hard to predict who's winning because I honestly don't care who wins. Either man could win and I'll be fine with that. But after thinking about it, how should it be Finn Balor? Finn Balor kind of been getting a really good push as of right now and a win over AJ Styles would do wonders for him and his career as of right now. Now, I do know that if in one like Extreme Rules and Crown Jewel, and when our War Games is too sweet. And we have the Women's War Games match. Then, th I mean, this rivalry started at SummerSlam is now being concluded at War Games. We all thought this was gonna happen, and no, it did. But now, Team Bianca has only four members, meaning she still needs one person. Now, this could either be Shasha Banks or Becky Lynch. But I personally think it's gonna be Becky Lynch, because I, I, I don't know. I, I don't even think Shaz is gonna come back. But we'll see and wait until the pay-per-view. On a, another team, we have Bailey, Dakota Sky, Io Sky, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki Cross. Which, I'm glad that Rhea is actually gonna be in a match for once. It's been a while, but, you know, it feels like people who are previously in the War Games match are being in the War Games match. Especially for the women's, because I'm pretty sure, ba I'm pretty sure, um, Bianca, Rhea, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky were all in War Games matches back in NXT. So this match will probably bang, but it's kinda obvious that team Bailey is going to win and Bailey has been suffering a bunch of losses trying to recap the Raw Miss Championship and he, she has failed many times but now there's an opportunity inside of War Games not for the title but just for an epic conclusion to this long if Team Bailey doesn't win this match I feel like the entire damage control is kind of buried right now even though Dakota and EO are the tag team champions but hey if you're gonna debut a new heel faction give them a big win and that'll make them even stronger now there's only four matches announced for the War Games pay-per-view which I don't know when the last time this happened but i am recording this video before monday night raw so they might announce another one on raw but i'm really excited for this premium live event it'll be on thanksgiving weekend just to make it better but yeah if you guys have any war games predictions in the comments please comment down down below i will read all of the comments all all zero of them i'll read all the comments don't worry and yeah i'll see you guys inside hell it's, it's war games I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys at war games